What's going on, cyclists? I've got the Giroto X2 here, about to put it together. And I'm wanting you to see that you don't need any special tools to put this together. It comes with everything you need. So now we can begin assembly. Okay, we've got zip ties holding the bars in here. You've got your bars. They are a TT uh, racing style of bar. Some people also might call them bullhorns if you're used to riding fixed gear. And on your bars, you've got two bottle holders or you can put your tablet here. And I must say it's really well packaged. Um, I'm not noticing any damage. This little tab here holds your cycling computer. You've got your flywheel magnetic resistance. So you've got your bolts and these are carriage bolts with the acorn nut on the top. So let me bring you in closer and show you what we're doing here. Now, go ahead and take off your acorn nut and washer. And you're gonna slide your carriage bolt in on the bottom, both of them. Go ahead and uh, may as well get the other one right now too. So you, your carriage bolt, you can see where it has that square and it just locks right into that square hole. And then you go ahead and set the back of your bike on there. Put your washer back down and you'll notice a washer does have two sides. Uh, the rounded side, you're gonna face up just a cleaner look and then put your egg corn nut back on and now that they're hand tight they're not going to go anywhere and you can get your little wrench that it came with it's a 13 millimeter and go ahead and just tighten these up a bit you don't have to get super crazy just snug them up and then go back to the other one make sure it's snug and then and then the same thing on the front on the front you want to have it so your travel wheels are facing forward same thing take your acorn nuts and washers off of your carriage bolts slide them in and again i'm gonna you can see that hole is square and you've got square on this carriage bolt so when they go in the hole they can't spin and that's how you're able to tighten that nut down washer and go ahead and put your acorn nut on there hand tight now they're both hand tight and you get your 13 millimeter wrench and just snug it down and that's that now your feet are on moving on with assembly this is the adjustment knob for the seat post so that goes in there and i'm gonna stick this at a six for now and that just goes in there like that and then your seat post is locked in so you're gonna your seat mount you'll you have numbers on here as well one through six so you've got this big washer throw the washer on there and then this handle just threads right into this base once you get it where you want it you just tighten it down same with your stem in the front you got another one of these handles it threads into here there's a little stopper in here just reach in and push that back and that's going to allow you to drop this stem in again you got your numbers on the side here i'm going to I'm gonna start it at a four and see where I need to adjust it from there. And then to mount your bars, you're gonna get your last handle and the second washer. And here you might be able to see better what I was talking about. Here's the top of the washer. The edge is kind of clean and rounded. And on the bottom of the washer, it's a sharper edge. So I'm gonna put the round side toward the handle and the sharper side toward the underside of this bar. Get that started in there. A little bit easier said than done it's kind of awkward and then like i said you're able to adjust these bars in and out i'm just gonna start with them here in the middle so that's a good enough spot as any 
pull out the little computer, open up the batteries. Okay, on the back side of the computer, you've got a little battery door, same as we've seen all over the place. And you go ahead and put your supplied double A's in there and then put your battery door back on. That just slides onto here. It stays on there fairly loose, I suppose. So if you didn't want this little computer, you could take it right off. And then you've got a wire down here on the bike that's gonna pull up and just plug your computer into that. So when you hook your wire up, there's a tab on the coiled side that's on the bike and it just slides into the side that has the little locking flange on here, the little clip. So it can only go on the one way. The next step from there is going to be to put the seat on, 13 millimeter as well. So you just want your seat nice and straight. So you can put absolutely any cycling seat that you want to on this bike. You do not have to just use this factory seat that it came with. So this seat just goes right onto the stem and you tighten up this nut, one on either side. And you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like little teeth in right here. So this seat can be tipped forward or back and it can also slide forward and back on these rails. And then of course you got your adjustment on the stem itself, forward and back, up and down. So the next step from here is going to be put on the pedals. There are left and right pedals. There's a nut. Most pedals do not have this, but on these, for some reason, there's a nut. And then they've got you a little pedal tool, which is nice. On the right side, it's going to be the standard threaded pedal. Now on the left side, your threading is going to be reversed. Spin them all the way in. They do have a little bit of Loctite on them, which is nice. They showed in the picture to use this wrench, but it is not the right size. It's a 15 mil, and you can use the other wrench that it comes with, even though it shows you that one in the pick. And then you can go ahead and put the nut on the other side. Now that nut is bigger, so that's what this one's going to be for. Tighten that nut onto the back side of the pedal. Now we're going to put the left pedal on. Now, this being a spin bike, there's no freewheel. So, there's no resting on this bike. Your legs are in constant motion when you're spinning and working out. So, it's similar to a fixed gear bicycle. The left handed pedal is going to be reverse thread and the reason they do that is so your pedals don't loosen up while you're pedaling the bicycle tighten this up and again on the left pedal it is reverse thread then you can put your nut on tighten that down with your other wrench supplied with you and i believe that's everything so now our bike is together and here you can see You've got the little safety nut on the back side. Most pedals don't have those, but they're there, so you can use them. And that's it. The Giroto X2 is now together. And it is ready to be ridden. I hope that helps you guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, I'm going to start spinning and eventually once I get the hang of it, uh, I'll do some spin class videos for you guys and of course everything will be free. Stay tuned, thanks for joining Cycle Red. What's going on? If I could get you to take a minute, not even, just a couple of seconds, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and share this video and all my videos with your friends and family members. Have a great day.